Every so often, a new car comes along that's designed and built to be in tune with America. New design, new thinking, new emphasis on what's important to a car buyer. This is such a car, Volare by Plymouth. Its essence is the luxury, comfort, and features you're used to on a big car, designed into a compact, economical package. Besides new quiet, new luxury, and spaciousness, Volare puts the accent on comfort, the result of an engineering breakthrough called isolated transverse front suspension. No other competitor offers anything like it. It offers exceptional comfort because there are two stages of isolation and more of what engineers call compliance, which allows the front suspension to absorb more road shock than our compact cars offered in the past. Isolated torsion bars are placed horizontally across the car. In back, there are isoclamp multi-leaf rear springs with wide-spaced mountings, all rubber isolated. This accounts for the big car feeling, gentle but with a feeling of control. Some of the quiet comes from the position of the suspension, way up front, ahead of the front wheels, as far from the driver as possible. Two sets of rubber mounts help isolate the driver from road shocks. And for a still quieter ride, the body is aerodynamically designed to reduce wind noise, and an extensive sound package soaks up road noise. It's something you have to experience to believe. Part of Volare's new spirit is its high level of standard luxury appointments and its functional layout and design. Best way to see it is to compare it to Ford's luxury small car, the Granada Ghia. It's similar in size and price, but different in many important ways, like just getting in. Notice how wide our door is. Makes for easy entry. Just a little bit more awkward in a Granada. It's even more obvious in the rear seat. The door opens wide and he sits down. But on Granada, the wheel well intrudes. It's awkward, not bad, just annoying. But here's a major difference. The Volare Premier Standard Seat. 60% of the seat width is on the driver's side. Both the driver and passenger seat backs recline. You'd pay extra for a reclining seat on a Ghia. Here's another difference. See where our door handle is located? Ford is different. You have to stick your hand through the armrest to reach the lever. It's okay if you have big hands. Otherwise, it can be awkward. Now let's look at some details. Things you'd take for granted in a luxury compact. Volari's ashtray is convenient, out of the way of the airflow. In Granada, you have to be more careful. The glove box is in an awkward position. And when you get it open, you find it's hardly more than a lid with sides on it. Volare has gauges for temperature and alternator functions. Working gauges to tell the driver what's going on. Ford uses warning lights. Notice this Ford transmission hump takes up an awful lot of foot space. And speaking of space, here are some dimensions you might be interested in comparing. Volare sedans have more total headroom and legroom than Granada. In fact, our sedan has more total headroom and legroom than the intermediates have, even the full-size Ford. The trunk has more usable space, too. On Ghia, the spare tire is in the way. But Volari's spare is tucked under the floor mat, so you get more useful space. One feature you'll notice about Volari compared to competition is the extra glass area, over 29 square feet, for great visibility. That's almost three and a half square feet more glass than Granada. Over 159 square inches more in the windshield alone. That gives Volare a bright, airy feeling. There's a number of differences in the engine compartment. For example, this heat shield surrounds the battery. 
We put it there because we found that it helps prolong battery life. Compare it with Granada. Every car we build in North America has one of these, a coolant reserve bottle. When coolant overheats and expands, it's piped into the bottle instead of boiling out on the ground. Besides added protection, it requires less service. Ford offers a coolant reserve bottle only on fleet cars, police cars, and with a heavy-duty trailer package. Costs $12 extra. Ours is standard. This particular engine is interesting. It's the 318 cubic inch V8. It's equipped to run on regular gas. Check the figures your dealer has available to see how Volare does on gas mileage. A Volare 318 V8 can be very economical because it offers a thriftier axle ratio, a 2.45 versus 2.79 on Granada. And you also have a greater selection of ratios with Volare, so you can tailor your car to your kind of driving. Now you've seen the extra detail, the engineering advantages of the Volare compared to Ford's luxury compact. What about price? Well, in most Volare models, both coupes and sedans, the base sticker prices are lower than Granada. But what about these models here? The Volare Premier and the Granada Ghia. The base price shows the six-cylinder Premier model $34 over Ghia and the eight-cylinder model $25 under Ghia when the V8 engine is ordered. But the Premier is a much more complete luxury automobile. For example, a luxurious reclining seat, a 60-40 seat. Both seats recline and both seats can be adjusted individually. Cost on Volare Premier, Nothing, it's standard. A reclining seat on Ghia costs $60. A clock, standard in Premier. A digital clock costs $40 in Ghia. A vinyl roof, standard on Premier, costs $100 on Ghia. Power steering, standard on Premier, costs $124 on Ghia. Power disc brakes, standard on Premier. Costs $57 on Ghia. Automatic transmission, standard on Premier. Costs $245 on Ghia. Put radial white wall tires on both cars, and you find that with luxury equipment, Ghia now costs $512 more than Volare Premier. So not only does Volare offer more value, more basic engineering advantages, it's more than $500 less than a Ghia. That surprise you? Well, here's another surprise. A Volare wagon. So different, there's nothing to compare it to. It's the roomiest, most versatile, most luxurious wagon in its class. Loaded with convenient features. Things like gas-filled cylinders to help make opening and closing easy. The Premier Wagon features cargo capacity plus two lockable storage compartments, one on each side, for locking up valuables like cameras and such. And to make sure that all the room is usable, the spare tire is tucked under here, out of the way. Result? This space is over 71 cubic feet big. Closest thing Ford offers is the Pinto, and there's no comparison there. Pinto carries four passengers. Volare carries six. We have 14.3 more cubic feet of load space, one of the reasons people buy wagons. If you compare total load capacity, Pinto would have to leave 250 pounds behind. No, there's no comparison when it comes to wagons, or to sedans, or coupes for that matter. Volare, a brand new car, a remarkable ride. Features not available on other small cars. Now feel it, drive it. Volare can be what you're looking for. It's in tune with America.